Storytime friends. How are you doing? If you haven't been to Storytime with me, my name is Miss Lisa and I get to do the story times at Worthington Park. But right now, since we can't do story times together in person, we're doing story times this way. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to start with a song called The More We Get Together. We're going to start with a few easy sign language motions. So we're going to start with the sign for more, for which we're going to put our fingers together and we're going to have them give kisses. More. Good job. The next sign we're going to use is the sign for together. We're going to put two fists next to each other and we're going to stir a big pot together. The next sign we're going to use is the sign for happy. Good job. All right. Now the last sign is for if you have really fast fingers and you're super fast at moving them, the sign is friend. And it looks like this. We're going to make two hooks. See my hooks? And then we're going to have them give a hug and give a hug. Are you ready? That's really just for the super speedy ones. Now, all of my songs today, I'm singing a cappella, which means I don't have music behind me. So we never know where I'm going to start. So it's kind of a fun extra game. <laughs> and grownups, please sing along with me if you know the song. Are you ready? Okay, let's give it a go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Very good job! How'd you do with that sign language? Were your fingers fast? Did they get a lot of moving? All right, we are going to do a lot of moving today. Our theme this week is actually move it, which means we're gonna be moving our bodies a whole lot. So you might want to stand up, find a safe space where you don't have a lot of stuff around you and get ready to move. Our next book is actually going to invite us. Are you ready? That's the first part of it. Is everyone ready for fun? And this is by Jan Thomas, one of my favorites. I love Jan Thomas books, especially for like two, three-year-olds. She really gets their sense of humor. <gasps> Plop! Is Everyone Ready for Fun? By Jan Thomas. And this is from Beach Lane Books. It's time to <gasps> jump up and down, up and down. Let's all jump up and down on chicken sofa. Would your grown up be happy if you were jumping on the sofa? No, don't jump on the sofa. Don't get in trouble. No, we don't jump on our sofa at our house either. Do you think chicken's going to be happy? Wait a minute, there's no jumping on my sofa. Oh, okay chicken, we won't jump on your sofa anymore. Uh-oh. Is everyone ready for more fun? More fun? That's a chicken. Does chicken seem happy about more fun? I don't think so. It's time to dance. Back and forth, back and forth. Let's all dance back and forth on chicken sofa. Do you think chicken's gonna be happy about that? No, I wouldn't be either. What are you doing now? You said not to jump on your sofa. We weren't jumping. Oh, is that a two-year-old or what? Is everyone ready for even more fun? No more fun! It's time to wiggle. Can you wiggle? I bet you can wiggle with me. Wiggle to and fro, to and fro. Let's all wiggle to and fro on chicken sofa. Enough! There will be no more jumping, dancing, or wiggling on my sofa. Then there's only one thing left for us to do. Is everyone ready? Are you ready? 
just realizing I should have done this book at the end because it's time to nap. What are they doing? Are they all napping on chicken sofa? That's about like what my sofa looks like most of the time. Napping on my sofa. Yes. Good idea. All oh, chicken joins them up there. You did such a great job with that story. Are you napping now? Oh, yeah. I should have thought that through, huh? All right. Well, if you need to take a nap, go ahead and pause it. Go take a nap. Naps are more important. I'll be here later. Okay. If you don't need a nap, we're going to keep going. All right. We're going to go ahead and do a song called One from the Left. And we're going to work on our left and right, first of all. So this is actually my right, but it's going to be your left. So show me your left hand. It's going to be on the same side as mine. And your right hand. Good job. Now we're going to hide them. Whoop, where'd they go? All right. We're going to bring them out one at a time, one finger at a time, and introduce them to each other. This is with Jim Gill's song, One from the Left. All right. One from the left and one from the right. Met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called whoop de doo Then they said goodbye and walked away, those two. What do you think is going to happen next? We did one and one, and that gave us two. See? What do you think we're going to have next? <gasps> two from the left and two from the right. They met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called Snips Galore. See, they look like scissors. Then they said goodbye and walked away. Those four. Good job. Now we're going to need three from the left and three from the right. They met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called Finger Mix. Good job. Then they said goodbye and walked away. How many? Those six. Good job. Four from the left and four from the right. They met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called Bend and Straight. Can you do that? Then they said goodbye and walked away. All, how many? It rhymes with straight. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. <coughs> All right. Whole hand this time. Ready? Five from the left and five from the right. They met in the middle and danced all night. Oh, look at them dancing. They made up a dance called clap and clap and clap and clap again. Then they said goodbye and walked away. All, how many fingers do you have? 10, good job. All right, if you liked that song, Mr. Jim Gill has a much better video than me singing it, and it's super cute, and you should definitely check it out. If you search for Jim Gill, one from the left, have your grown-up search for it. Um, they should be able to find the video pretty easily. And he's given Story Times permission to use all of his songs, which is so nice. All right, sort of with that, with our fingers, now that we're all warmed up, we're gonna do Dance Your Fingers. So we're gonna start with our Dance and Fingers. Can you show me some Dance and Fingers? Good job. We're gonna dance your fingers up. Whoop. And dance your fingers down. And dance your fingers to the side. And dance them all around. Dance them on your shoulders. Dance them on your head. Dance them on your tummy. And then put them all to bed. So we're gonna keep our hands a little quiet while we start our next book. All right. I love this one. Have you ever had a day where you just woke up feeling cranky? And no matter what, you just couldn't quite perk up. Have you had one of those? Oh, I have. I know. And sometimes when we're really cranky and we just can't quite get it together, we just need to be left alone. But sometimes our friends can help us out a little bit. This one is called Grumpy Bird. 
and it's by Jeremy Tankard. It's from Scholastic Press. When Bird woke up, he was grumpy. Look at that grumpy face. Oh boy, I recognize that. He was too grumpy to eat. He was too grumpy to play. In fact, he was too grumpy to fly. Looks like I'm walking today, said Bird. Bird walked right past Sheep. Good morning, Bird, said Sheep. What are you doing? Walking, said Bird. Nice, said Sheep. I'll keep you company. Bird walked past Rabbit. Hi there, Bird, said Rabbit. What are you doing? I'm walking, said Bird. It's no fun. I could use some exercise, said Rabbit. I'll walk too. Are you walking? Maybe yeah, we should be walking. What do you think? All right, you walk. I think it moves my book too much, but you keep walking. Bird walked past Raccoon. Hey, Bird, said Raccoon. What are you doing? I'm walking, snapped Bird. What does it look like? It looks like fun, said Raccoon. I'm coming too. Bird walked past Beaver. Hello, Bird, said Beaver. And what are you doing? Let me give you a hint, said Bird. You do it by placing one foot in front of the other. Walking, guessed Beaver. I love walking. Bird walked past Fox. Good day, Bird, said Fox. What are you doing? Why does everyone want to know what I'm doing, shouted Bird. I'm just walking, okay? Okay, said Fox. Let's go. Bird walked. Are you still walking? The other animals walked. Bird stopped. The other animals stopped. Did you stop? Good job. Bird stood on one leg. The other animals stood on one leg. Can you stand on one leg? What about the other one? Very talented. Bird jumped. And the other animals jumped. Oh, I should jump. Did you jump? Okay. Hey, this is fun, said Bird. Come on, said Bird, who had forgotten all about being grumpy. Let's fly back to my nest for a snack. And they did. Very nice job. I hope you enjoyed flying around with the grumpy bird. All right, did I, were those other animals animals that can fly? I know, so it was just being silly at the end, wasn't it? It was, I like it anyway, what about you? Okay, we're gonna do now a super silly book. Um, and it's also a song. So we're gonna start with the song the way you might know it. Do you know the song, If You're Happy and You Know It? Do you know that one? Oh yeah? All right, so let's just sing it one time, just the clap your hands part, ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good job. All right, now we're gonna make it weird. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, one of my favorites. I love doing this one pretty much anytime it fits in story time. <gasps> If You're a Robot and You Know It by David A. Carter. Ready? It's gonna change a little bit because now we're being robots. So instead of your face showing it, your circuit board will show it. The circuit board is some of the electrical that runs all the robot. Are you ready? Well, you already know that, don't you, robots? If you're a robot and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a robot and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, clap your hands. Did you clap your hands? Did you hear the robot clap his? Let's see. Did you hear it? It's so loud. All right, let's try our next one. If you're a robot and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a robot and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp them hard. Did you get it? Good job. 
If you're a robot and you know it, jump and beep. If you're a robot and you know it, jump and beep, beep, beep. If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, jump and beep, beep, beep. Can you jump like that with all of your arms and legs out? Like, ah, like that? That's probably going to end up being the thumbnail for this video. My face there. All right, so you're here for the next one. If you're a robot and you know it, stretch your limbs. What are limbs? I should have stopped and talked about that. Do you know what limbs are? They're the things that come out of your torso. So this is my torso. So my limbs are gonna be my arms and my legs. All right, you ready? All right, if you're a robot and you know it, stretch your limbs. Stretch your limbs. Good job. If you're a robot and you know it, stretch your limbs. Stretch. Did you stretch really high? If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, stretch your limbs. Stretch. Good job. If you're a robot and you know it, ready? Fly away. Oh, I hope you don't have any open windows at your house right now. If you're a robot and you know it, fly away. Stay in the room. If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, fly away. All right, I'm going to pause here. Grown-ups, did your robot stay in the room? Okay, if your robot flew away, you can pause right now and go find them. But if they're still here, we're going to keep going. Okay. Ready? This one is musically just so beautiful. You're going to do it like this. If you're a robot and you know it, shoot laser beams out of your eyes. If you're a robot and you know it, shoot laser beams out of your eyes. If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, shoot laser beams out of your eyes. Look at those big laser beams. Oh man, did you just shoot me with laser beams? How incredibly rude. Just kidding. All right, we're gonna end it the same way you end the regular version. If you're a robot and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're a robot and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Good job. I hope you enjoyed that one. It always makes me smile. Pretty much no matter what's happening, that book gets me smiling. All right, we're going to do one more little story about a spunky little monkey who does not want to wake up in the morning. <clears throat> Apparently, he's feeling grumpy like Grumpy Bird or just too tired. Oh, I had trouble getting my muscles moving this morning. I get that. This is called Spunky Little Monkey, and it is by Bill Martin Jr. and Michael Sampson, and it's illustrated by Brian Wong. It's from Scholastic Press. Oh, sleepy little monkey. Won't get out of bed. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, apple juice, orange juice, gooseberry pies. Monkey needs some exercise. Rutabaga, rutabaga, sis, boom, ba. Pop up, monkey. Can you jump up? Ra, ra, ra. I don't know where monkey got all that energy. First, you get the rhythm of the head. Ding dong. Can you do that with your head? Ding dong. Have you got the rhythm of the head? Ding dong. Oh, he goes side to side. You can do that too. Get a nice stretch. Then you get the rhythm of the hands. Clap, clap. Can you do that? Oh, I bet you can. I have a hard time clapping while holding a book because I am not an octopus. I wish I had eight tentacles so I could hold the book, but I can't. Have you got the rhythm of the hands? Good job. Then you get the rhythm of the feet. Stomp, stomp. Have you got the rhythm of the feet? Stomp, stomp. Oh, what's he stomping in? I don't know about you, but my kids love to stomp in puddles in their mud boots or rain boots. Then you get the rhythm of the hips. Do you know where your hips are? I'm going to back up so you can see this. All right, so this is the top of your body, and then you have your legs coming off the bottom, and your hips are where you bend in the middle. 
All right, ready? Have you got the rhythm, or then you get the rhythm of the hips and we shake, shake. Can you do that? Have you got the rhythm of the hips? Shake, shake. Put them all together. You'll be feeling so much better. Ready, we're gonna start with the head. Ding dong. Clap, clap. Stomp, stomp. Shake, shake. Do them backwards nice and quick. You'll feel perky, that's the trick. Shake, shake. Stomp, stomp. Clap, clap. Ding dong. Ruta rega, ruga bega, sis boom ba. Monkey, monkey, rah, rah, rah. Oh, spunky little monkey, ready for the day. Come on, little monkey, let's go play. The end. At the back of that book, it has a little bit more information about why kids need exercise, which is one of the reasons we do this Move It Week. And we do this one pretty often for our theme because we all need to move and kids especially need to move a lot. So I hope that this gave you some easy ways to move this morning. If you want some more ways that you can keep moving at home, there's gonna be another video linked in the comments that you can go to that gives you some ideas for doing preschool at home with this Move It theme. All right, we're gonna do one more little rhyme and say goodbye. We're gonna do Tickle the Clouds. So I'm gonna back up. Hopefully you can see me tickle clouds, probably not, even though I'm very short. Are you ready? Tickle the clouds. Tickle your toes. Turn around and tickle your nose. Reach down low, reach up high. Story time's over. Let's wave goodbye. Bye friends. I hope you've enjoyed story time together. I miss seeing you and hope that we can see each other again soon.